Here is a very easy solution for a thinking problem. The question here is, determine constants for given asymptotes. Find the constants a and b such that the graph of the function defined by f of x equals to ax plus 5 divided by 3 minus bx will have vertical asymptote at x equals to 5 and horizontal asymptote at y equals to minus 3. Now, when do you have vertical asymptote? Vertical asymptote is a value of x for which the graph is undefined. So that means denominator is 0, right? So at x equals to 5, if we have a vertical asymptote, that means if I substitute 5 here, denominator should become 0. That means 3 minus bx should be equal to 0 for x equals to 5. That is what I'm trying to say, right? So let's substitute. So we have 3 minus 5b, x value is 5, right? Should be equal to 0. From here, you can find what b is, right? So you can solve for b, that is 3 equals to 5b or b equals to 3 over 5. So we get the value of b from here. Now how about horizontal asymptote? So we analyzed the vertical asymptote, right? The so condition for vertical asymptote is denominator equals to 0. Now let's analyze horizontal asymptote, right? Horizontal asymptote, what is the condition? Since the degrees are same, then what is horizontal asymptote? Horizontal asymptote will be y equals to ratio of leading coefficients, which is a over minus b. So that is your horizontal asymptote. Now we are already given here horizontal asymptote is y equals to minus 3, right? And now we have also found that b is 3 over 5. So we can use this value of 3 over 5 for b also, right? So let's substitute these values and check our answer. So from this condition, when we say horizontal asymptote at y equals to minus 3, so we'll substitute y as minus 3. See what happens. So minus 3 equals to a over b, right? Minus of b. So b is 3 over 5. So what is minus of b? You can write this as minus 3 over 5. So we can write this as a over minus 3 over 5, correct? So that is minus of b, right? So what is a equals to? So to find a, we need to multiply by this number, right? Here. So we get a is equals to minus 3 times, let's put it in brackets. So that which is in the denominator gets multiplied in the numerator times minus 3 over 5. Do you see that? So we get a as equals to, we can write here, minus as minus is plus, 9 over 5. So that is the value of a, right? So we get our function with a equals to 9 over 5 and b as 3 over 5. Correct? So these are the values and now we can write down our answer and the answer is a equals to 9 over 5 and b equals to 3 over 5. Correct? So it is that simple as that. I hope you appreciate the process. Thank you and all the best.